What's up, everybody? We're going to try a new type of video. Um, I know most of you guys are here for the educational stuff, but I know that a little bit of lightheartedness every once in a while can definitely uh, go a long way. So, as anyone who's been keeping animals for a long period of time or just lives life, they have some really funny stories. But specifically with reptiles, everyone has just like dumb, funny, or crazy stories, and I have quite a few of them as well. So I'm going to start a new kind of like little story time, We're just quick little stories about the different times and different weird things that have happened with my animals over the years. Um, they can be kind of all over the place from super crazy to like an animal got out for a long time and where we found it and yada, 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 yada. So to just get things rolling with, we're going to talk about the time that my snake almost called the cops on me. So, back in 2020, there, when I very first got started doing this reptile channel, um, just barely, you know, the feet get wet, still not very popular or successful by really any standard. But it was starting to get a little bit of ground, especially in the Colorado area, as people, like I was spamming the Facebook groups and things like that. So, one of the first videos that really did well, other than, um, you know, like the trips to like Dallas and visiting Phoenix Reptiles and stuff like that, was um, about Alpha, the IMG boa, where he was outside um, in the sunlight showing off that really beautiful iridescence, and that was one of the more popular videos, and then other ones talking about um, him in general. And there was getting a lot of, uh, like a lot of engagement with the post, both on Facebook and on YouTube, and during this time there was one a couple people but one in particular was it almost seemed like he was trying to figure out where I was living like oh you're in Colorado we're in Colorado Denver area well we're in Denver area uh kind of near here oh really I used to live over there and he just kind of kept narrowing in and narrowing in um and for those of you who don't remember or don't want to remember 2020 uh, it was a pretty divisive year, not to say that this year isn't divisive anymore, but 2020 was really at the height. I had a lot of stuff thrown at me that hadn't been thrown at me um, in a very, very long time. Police were called on me by my neighbors, and I had been living in that, uh, I've been living on that street for almost 10 years at that point, um, followed by different people, followed by cops, slurs thrown at me. Um, as well as there is this very beautiful, very expensive boa. And so talking to my partner and other people, we were like, is this person trying to come to my house and hurt me and steal my animals or both? And we were like, it's probably both. He absolutely wants to come steal animals, specifically Alpha, and do bodily harm. So we decided to get a security system. We, you know, we already had... Um, this is kind of before um, Amazon Blink cameras were really, really popular, but we had a couple different um, cameras that were independent of each other. And we had them up around at, like the front door or inside the house, around the sides of the house, but we decided to get a security system as well through ADT. Um, and some of those were like glass sensors. And if you guys are fairly unfamiliar with how that works is that if there is um, a decibel level of sound that comes with the sound of glass breaking, be it the front door, a window, um, basically anywhere in the upstairs floor of our house that like wasn't muffled by like a shut door or something, that alarm would go off and it would immediately alert us and then it would alert the police. And then the police would call us and then ask to send someone out um, because that's the way we, we set it up because we also have big dogs and people kind of coming and going and stuff like that. So, you know, you don't want the police to come out for no reason if like the sound of um, a similar sound is set off and glasses and actually broken and then the cop show up. You don't want that. And so during this time, um, as with a lot of people, we have a lot of stuff going on. We had just gotten uh, new hardwood floors put in all of our upstairs and um, it was in like the springtime after Black Friday and we got a bunch of new like exoterras from Black Friday deals and stuff like that. And so they're just kind of like haphazardly placed around um, all over the place. And so we, you know, we've had the security system for like, I think a week at this point. Um, we were still kind of dialing it in getting used to like setting an alarm before we leave and away and the things like that. Um, and so I go to work first. I, I have to go to work at like, you know, 4.30 in the morning uh, partner goes to work. She needs to be there at like nine o'clock or something. And um, I get an alert on my phone at like 9.30. Uh, not, maybe not even 9.30, honestly. It was probably like right before partner's supposed to be uh, at her job. And 
I get an alert from ADT that says there's glass break in uh, living room, front, uh, front door living room. And then I get uh, an alert and then I get messages from there. I get messages from partners saying, hey, there is glass breaking, what's going on here? Uh, we're probably equa-ish distant as far as like time goes, um, if there's no traffic. And so we both say like, okay, um, you can send a patrol car because uh, we're not gonna get charged for it. Um, if there's an actual like breakage, we're not gonna get a charge for it. So like you can send a patrol car and then we're both gonna leave work and we're gonna go back there. We roll up there, uh, partner gets there right before I do. We both beat the patrol car, even though the, um, the police station for our area is like two and a half minutes away from us, but whatever. So 20 minutes, 25 minutes, and then police car's right there too. Um, they get there after we've already figured out what's happened. We say, sorry, this is an unfortunate thing. And so we go in there and in the living room, there is shattered glass everywhere, but it's not from a window. And in the living room, there is a dog crate set up with a puppy. And then our like six and a half foot carpet python sitting on top of the crate, just hanging out, not looking at the puppy or anything, just hanging out. What had happened was we had a, a big 36 uh, by 18 by 18 exoterra set up in our living room. And then we had uh, a board set on top of that where we could like attach the lights and stuff because she had punched through the screen once or twice. And so we had a piece of plywood on top of that and then a spacer. And then we had another exoterra right on top of that. You know how um, if you've watched any of my older videos, like in the gecko room, I have exoterras just stacked right on top of each other with LED lights in between. In this case, we didn't do that because it's not super recommended because it's not the most stable thing. Um, there was actually a base and a separator in between there. But the carpet python was so strong, she managed to actually shift the entire plywood board, that three foot by foot and a half foot board and two by four block spacers enough to where it dropped the brand new, nothing in it, literally like cut open the box and put it on top and I'll get to it this weekend, brand new exoterra and it just shattered on the ground. And then she came out and just kind of hung out on top of there. And that's what set it off. There was actual glass breaking, but it wasn't the window and put a huge, huge dent in our brand new hardwood floors. And so that is the story of the time that one of our snakes called the cops on us. Hopefully you guys enjoy today's fun little story. I'm not gonna do these all the time, just gonna kind of throw them in intermittently and I will probably even have a few Patreon exclusives. I'm actually gonna record one about what happened to me um, about a week ago on a fun little snake adventure that I was on. Um, so if you want to go check out the Patreon, I will have that posted up probably by the time this video comes out, which will probably be this weekend. So hopefully you guys enjoy today's video. Um, let me know if you guys like this uh, type of format. I'm going to do a couple of these uh, intermittently. We're going to see if you guys like them or, and then maybe we'll make them like a for sure series and we'll call it like story time with snakes or something like that. So let me know how you guys like this. Um, a lot of you guys have been giving me a lot of ideas to do for future videos. Um, I really like a lot of them. Uh, keep in mind, it might take me a while to get to them because again, I like to have good video and plenty of research uh, and knowledge about them before I speak on those topics. But I have written them down, have forgotten about them. Thank you all so much. Hope you're all having a great day and we'll check you next time.